just run down what Team Falcons could be able to bring in like the mid game. Yeah. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, from the Wraith King and the AA, then it should all be able to get purged off from the Repel yeah. coming out from the Omni, but maybe Kachao is not going to be so fortunate. But at the top lane, it does end up being the Ganto going back down. Core, so already off the bat, it's pretty difficult. I mean, if it wasn't for the constant harassment from this Weaver, I feel like low skill on the um, on the life stealer should be able to relatively sustain against the bristle, but they're actually just gonna dive onto the tower yet again and get the backstab from staking coming on through. Low skill is just gone. Nothing Nagato can do to keep his core alive. And it looks like once again he's just gonna get ran down afterwards. A little extra a boosh boosh for Amar. There it is. Dunk. Awareness to be like, I think there's a there's a three here. Let me put throw out some bugs and he gets it for him. So that's really impressive. Crit showing why he's been one of the best in the NA for what, five years now or something. Yeah. Gato is in trouble. And he just TP yeah. here. Yeah, but look at he doesn't care that the fact that there's a lifesteal hidden from behind, but a TP coming in from Mikey will there actually change go. the fact that there he goes. Side brings down the bristle bat. It's a huge and target. And bottom lane. Do they want to go for him? Yeah, yeah, they will. Yep. We're going to start things off. Marine jumps on in. Absolutely nowhere to run for this Omni. He's just dead. Down he goes. Another kill going over top to Marie. But at the same time, yeah, Mar, four heroes on top of him. He does go down. But at the very least... They, they smoke up. They want to see if they can work with, work with Mike and get a kill here. Amar yeah. is very low health. Extremely and he just do all eyes dead. Yep. <laughs> that is so unfortunate. You just run right into the waiting arms there of the Necro and just die. It looks like the rest of the squad though are going to try and come in for some sort of counter kill. The Dream Call does land onto two with the Ice Blast. That is a dead Merlin for sure. Mikey, can they bring down this Necroverse though? He's a hard target to fire. The Skier also going to get involved with the Ghost Shroud, but they're still going to carry help. on Chaser right now. They really want to get this one with the Eels. It's going to hold back the Wraith King for a little bit longer. Marine though, he's going to carry on with the chase. Oh, the guy chucking out all of his spells, trying to make the space for his core to run away. And it looks like he should be able to get out of there. Mikey charging oh, forward once. Oh, they're TPing in, but tower's already gone. A little bit uh, too little too late there. And unfortunately, their tower still falls. And maybe Merlin's also going to get caught out. Amar finds the Pugler, just going to try and run him down. Silence also coming through. Is there going to be any sort of save? There will. Team keeps him alive. Now, Marine is actually the one in danger. Try and chase down this one. Rimside comes through. They do find the kill. Ice Blast will land onto Merlin's back lines. Trying to do as much damage as possible. The stun does land as well onto the Omnite Skitter charge. Not through. The crit absolutely annihilate the tree. And the Overgrift comes out. But everybody's pretty much already dead. Crit has to go for the time lapse out. So it ends up being a two for one exchange there, favoring from Falcons. But at the same time, Winter Bear, you know, they kill the enemy mid. It's not terrible. Yeah, but they also lose a tower. So we count the kill. Marine shown himself, but still a little bit of that shield rune left. I can't quite find oh. the opportunity to jump on in. Amar, though, he's going to break the smoke nerve of Kachal. Charging on forwards. A lot of enemy heroes around him, but does he really care? It doesn't look like it. Axe is popping through. Low skill. Nearly dead straight off the bat. Has to infest into his Omni just to run away. That's going to abandon the rest of his team. Oh, Scythe no. lands onto Amar, but it does hardly any damage at all. Off to the side, though, they are able to find snaking. That big scary AA is gone. Kachal as well. Stand at his ground. So tanky there with the infest coming on through. Absolutely Beefcake right now. Pump almost dying as well. Marine trying to escape. And the Gato, one quick punch in the face, brings him down. Ski is set low. Also gone. This is a disaster fight here for Falcons. They have to run away. Amar might lose his first life. Actually, he does get the kill on towards the Gato. And should be able to back out before he loses this Aegis. Oh, what a massive win there from uh, uh, Mikey now also picking up a heart. So a bit of extra tank coming out here from the Necro. Obviously, if he gets connected on from the Ice Blast, it doesn't really make much difference. But Kachow will get jumped on. Ice Blast connects onto him, and the Omni is just gone. Not really anything Mikey could do there to keep his cool. The riskier, but potentially more rewarding move would have been just to take the fight there. They still make the right decision. You know, there's nothing wrong with people's choice. Yeah. Now Falcon will move on into that pit. Start taking this big boy down, and yeah, there's not really any response coming out from Winter Bear, so this is going to be a free Aegis and Cheese going into the hands of Falcons. And this time round, they're actually going to put the Aegis into the hands of Maureen, which, yeah, I think I quite like in that yes. last uh, should really mitigate quite a lot of that from the side of Falcons. Um, we'll have to wait and see how this next fight does play out. Here are an AC was also just picked up there from low skills. So he's hitting a little power spike right now. He's feeling comfortable to try and frontline oh, for the rest of his team. Dream Coil dropped quite casually into the back lines. Ice Blast oh, also yeah. coming through, connects on towards two of them. Necro being the big target, but no real follow-up there. So 
It looks like Falcons making the choice just to back on off. So they're, they're, the poke they're doing is perfect for Falcons. We don't have to dive in, but we also should keep up the, the aggression. However, this living armor is a problem. All the towers are very healthy. Oh, Mikey oh, jumps forward to kill the Queen Wave. That is a big punish right now. Ice Boss lands. He's just gone. He doesn't have buyback either. 80 seconds in the dirt right now. Is there any way that Winter Bears can hold on to this high ground about the big scary Necro? I don't think there is. This should yep. be an entire lane of barracks going down. We'll see if Falcon can try and push for more. After the fact, Vior Marine jumps in quite deep again, trying to focus on towards this Pogba Merlin in danger. The Prismac doing tons of damage. Will get the kill. And there's nothing that the rest of Winter Bears could do. They drop the overgrowth to hold back the bristle. Meanwhile, the buildings are just dying from the rest of Falcons. Yeah, this game might be over. You know, it's sad to say, but the moment Mikey died without buyback, to be fair, the moment he jumped in, he was gonna, he, he was dead. Because we just talked, you can't defend too aggressively. You get hit by an ice blast, you get hit by a foil, you're dead, and Mikey... That's his one death of the game. He's 6 one foil, he had a phenomenal for MVP. But uh, one death sets him back so far, especially when he's the only really, like, core who's been farming well on his team. Kachal is basically a support. And low skill took forever to get online. He's gonna be up in 15 seconds, but that's still two Raxes down. Yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of pressure already been applied here. At the very least, not going to be the Aegis into the hands of Maureen when the next push comes. But I don't and know. AA is also not, even if you jump him, I'm not sure you can kill him. He's got a Glimmer Cave. He's got Force Staff. He's got a two. He's got oh my! He's gonna make a block of cheese. <laughs> is he gonna make block of cheese? I've always bought more cheeses you need. Oh, meanwhile, never mind. Ski is jumping on in. They've found low skill. He was still alive. Still turned around. Ski is first life gone. So damn quickly gets bullied down. Everyone's going to try and disengage now from the side of Falcons. And they will back on out. A couple of BKBs pop from either side. The See hero and then the shield regions are like, oh, okay. Because that would be insanely good. Like, it's still, it's still way out of your way to get it. But if you're not using your cheeses, you have a few of these rare healing notices. And all the cheese is worth it then. Yeah, 100%. Mar oh, no skill. What, they really want to defend this high ground wars. Kachal trying to find Snake King. They do have the AA out of position, but even still, the Ice Blast lands onto the two of them. AA goes down. Kachal going to try and disengage whilst Mikey throwing his body in there, making the space for his two other calls to retreat. Merlin, though, in a dangerous spot, trying to run out of there himself. But Mikey actually looks like he's going to be the focus instead here from the side of Falcons. Can they bring this guy down? All the saves coming out without that damage come out from the Ice Blast. It's oh, a difficult God, kill, but eventually... As soon as all of the uh, the ghost scepters, everything wears off, he will just fall. Buyback as well to Mikey, attempting to run down ATF. He's going to use the uh, the old Wind Waker, get down to the low grounds, and there's just no real decent. The, the shield does not get disabled when you take damage. He was still regenerating the whole time. Okay, so it's actually an item now. That's yeah. uh, that's cool to see. I mean, it regens against Roshan, who's considered. Uh, an ancient or a hero creep? It's kind of weird. It depends on it depends on what Ice Frog is feeling that day. He's like, this mechanic <laughs> will apply, but this will not, just for no reason. But yeah, it's it gives him a good a good heal. Oh, he does uh, end up getting jumped on, but able to avoid it there with the phase shift. And now immediately Winter Bears. Oh, okay, <laughs> the jump fails. We've got to run away. Marino chasing forwards. Melon. We'll try and avoid it there with usage of the Glimmer Cape. And he's going to be able to get out there. ATF, though, he's still just running in deep. He's managed to find low skill, but not really any other members of his team behind him to try and follow suit. Still this high ground ward here available for Winter Bears. They're going to use that ambition to their advantage. Oh. He actually gets clipped. The nullify cancelling out mid flight right now. So he's stuck, but even still, there's going to be the four stuff to low ground. And everyone taking so much damage. The Dream Core perfectly lands. Kachal just trying to run away with the Life Stealer inside him. Multiple buybacks being expended. Can they get anything here from Winter Bears? Oh, Mikey no diving in deep. He gets turned on Nullifier. Adds a huge counter to himself. He's taking damage. Is there a safe and life chain from Merlin? Keeping him going for as long as he possibly can. Skiers first life will fall. They will then lose the neck post. That's a dieback technically for him. We want Malreen into the back lines himself. Trying to take down these two supports with the help of Crip with the Ogre Seal. Toe of Merlin. No! He can't get away. He will still fall. And there it is. Winter Bears just crumple inside their own base. And GG is called. Yeah, the, the problem happened from the start. It was just a draft issue. The AA should never have gone through when you went for the sustained lineup. A Mikey played out of his mind.